All right, let's make a little video showing how to get one of these from my front kit. Brackets, templates for cutting the bin into the shape that follows the contours of the hood of the car. Materials that you'll need are pretty basic. Uh, just some various kinds of tape, Sharpie, screwdriver for the bracket screws, scissors for cutting the template. We'll use a 9 32nd drill for drilling the clearance holes in the bottom of the bin for the screws, plus a pilot hole bit. Uh, and I'm gonna use a box cutter with a fresh blade for doing the cuts. Uh, it'll take a little bit of force, but not too bad. You'll definitely want some gloves for protection. One of the quickest ways to run your day in this project is to drop one of these little hooks into the uh, hood compartment of your car. So what I do is just uh, back these hooks all the way off, uh, and the short hook goes on the long bracket, long hook, short bracket. I'm going to put this on a couple of turns, and then I'm going to put some tape on each side, and that's just temporary to make sure that we don't drop any hooks. Something like this. The hook is at the end of its run, and just some tape to keep it from falling off or spinning. All right, let's install the brackets. Short bracket goes on the passenger side, and we're going to butt it up next to this uh, screw right here. It's going to start it back there on the plate, bring it down, pull that hook up into place, and screw it tight. So that's plenty of force. That's going to hold real well. On the driver's side, you're going to slip it over the, the, there's this groove on the bottom of the bracket that's going to fit over this little fin right here. Place it over the tube. It should get a little pop as it gets on there. And that's over the fin. And you're going to hold that hook up and screw it tight. You might have a little bit more play over here. When we're putting the bin on, we're going to end up pushing this over a little bit. And that will make everything draw in nice and tight. At this point, you might as well go ahead and cut out each of the template pieces. You're going to be cutting along all the red lines, including these little uh, rectangles, which are going to be our alignment guides for the bottom. What I do is I just aim for the center of the red line while I'm doing all these cutting. All right, we're almost there. Just one last thing need to cut these rectangles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a box cutter to cut those.
we have a nice tree rectangle that the alignment guide will be able to feed through. All right, here's what we have after all the cutting. We're gonna have these two pieces for drilling the holes on the bottom. And then these are the front and back. This is for each side. And here are the four corner pieces. The idea behind this is that we're gonna be uh, putting a baseline on the bin and these corner pieces, even though they're, they look curved, they'll straighten out once we apply them to the bin. Let's go ahead and put that baseline on there. This is a tool that we're going to use to guide our Sharpie for marking a nice horizontal line all the way around. And there's multiple holes. This top one is the one that will leave the most material and come closest to your hood when it's closed. And if you have a thick gasket that you're going to put on for weather stripping, you might consider using one of these other holes. But start out with this top hole. Even if you have a gasket, it might have enough play um, to fit in there with the top hole cut. And so the whole baseline is going to go up and down depending on which hole that you pick. And since this is going to be on the remaining portion of the bin, you might consider applying masking tape around where the mark is going to be. And be sure to fill in these steps nice and tight because we're going to be using our alignment tool to... Uh, mark the alignment marks and we don't want the masking tape to keep it bulged away from uh, the bin. This top hole is about two and a half inches off the ground so let's put the masking tape about two and a half inches up. All right there's no reason not to use lots of pieces of tape because the uh, tape's going to want to curve because of all these tapers and curvatures. We've got a piece of tape all the way around that's at the right height to keep us from marking up the bin. You want both hands for doing this next step, so just put some weight in the bin so it doesn't slip around. To make things easy for yourself to pick the right hole, just cover up the ones you're not going to use with a piece of tape. All right, and as we're putting this line on, We'll want to be sure to keep the bottom flush to the bottom of the table so that it's the proper height. And so think about that. Put the Sharpie straight in. And this mark all the way around. By the way, if your uh, Sharpie isn't able to mark through that hole, you can drill that out a little bit. That's not a big deal. And, you know, at these steps, we're going to end up with a little bit of a gap of the line. So I'm going to use a piece of paper as a straight edge to finish it off. All right, now we get to the alignment tools. This is going to be the, for the front and the back of the bin. And this is going to be for the sides. This straight edge always needs to face out. And so orient it so it faces out. And then mark on either side. And that's going to be what we'll use for lining up the templates. All right, this is a tool that we'll use for marking the alignment mark on the sides. And the way it works is slide it back and forth, watching how flush the tool is to the bin. And when it's most flush, you're in the center and mark, mark at the indentation. And that is the alignment mark for the sides. All right, now we're at the point where we're going to decide where the front and the back of the bin will be. 
Uh, this is a finished one. You can see that uh, this recycle symbol is going to be cut through. So I'm choosing to, on my car, to put that facing back so that the front is nice and clean. All right, we can start with this corner. This is the passenger side back. And since this is the back, this is going to be the passenger side of the car. This alignment mark is going to line up right here. So, first piece of tape goes there. Set the bottom uh, along the baseline, alignment marks, and then just uh, work it on keeping that baseline true. Get in there nice and tight in this next step. And we're going to be marking across the top here the actual cut. Work that in there tight. And then this other alignment mark is going to be for the piece that goes along the back. As much as you can, avoid putting tape along the top of the marking. So you might just tuck it in like this and put the tape here. That leaves the mark region clean. On the side, the alignment mark is right in the middle. On the front and the back, there are two marks. Just to get the best alignment that you can. All right, we got all the top cut pieces on there. And keeping track of driver's side, passenger side, this is my driver's side. This bottom piece is for the driver's side. To line that, we're going to have the holes towards the inside. And we're going to use these alignment blocks. Just place them in these recesses. Place this over, and that's how it fits on there. Before we do any cutting, you can uh, set the bin on the brackets just to kind of make sure that everything's going to line up. This cut matches with that piece this piece matches with the cut back here this piece matches with this cut here all right let's put some tape at the holes to keep it flush and then we're going to be drilling some pilot holes first uh, that will help make sure that we get things nice and centered. A uh, small 1 16th bit. Right on the middle of the crosshairs. And take off the template and the blocks. And use these pilot holes to center your bit for the 9 30 seconds drill. All right, now we're just going to run that Sharpie along the entire perimeter to get our cut line. We'll be cutting away this black line. So it's okay if you make it 
wider than necessary um, if it makes it easier to see. But when we take these templates off and start cutting, we're going to be cutting away the black line, leaving no black on our tray. Okay, I've got the entire line marked, so I'm just going to start removing the template. We'll leave that baseline there for now, just in case we need to come back and redo anything. Now, back here, uh, my black line goes over a piece of tape, so I'm just going to be careful to leave that piece of tape there. There's that piece of tape I left behind with the line on it. All right, now it's time to cut. And I'm, I'm, I've found that just using a box cutter with a fresh blade worked good. Um, but you know yourself, you know what tools you have. If you have something better for cutting, uh, use your judgment and do that. But in my case, I'm gonna don my work gloves, put on my eye protection, and cut with this is it this um, box cutter start over here where you have the most detail uh, while your bin is whole and you're going to be cutting away the black line all right that's first cut we got started one technique to try is to frequently insert the knife and pull it back out. On the long and straight sections, you might be able to do a continuous pull. But if you're patient and just want to do it the easy way, just do this over and over again, cutting away the black line. Just more, ide more ideas, set the chair, use your legs to kind of hold things tight. Cut, cut, cut. All right, let's record this final cut for posterity. up here there we go now go around if you have any little sections that still show black you can cut those away and you'll have your bin all right moment of truth final installation I'm going to uh, start with this screw hole and we have the uh, rubber neoprene washer in there. And you may need to just flex that bracket just a bit to get this front screw started. That's normal, that's good. The bin tray will hold everything square. Empty side. If uh, these holes don't line up, check to make sure it's your brackets are installed with the against that screw over here and on that groove over here all right now let's patiently check to make sure that we're not going to uh, have any crashes everything is lining up no resistance, no sounds. 
And so it's all good. Now I can just take this baseline tape off since we don't need to do anything else with the uh, templates. And keep in mind, if you don't like how your cut turned out or if you made any mistakes, you can always uh, get some weather stripping to pull over this. It'll dress it up in any case and provide you some uh, protection from water getting into the bin. Enjoy your frunk.